morning. We're going to go over the guided kit from Neodent and how to place an implant on a model here today with 3D diagnostics. Um, this system can be used if we switch these drivers out from a CM to the GM connection regardless. It'll work for either one. Just want to show everybody we're working in the anterior region today on this toothborne guide and we're going to create our osteotomies utilizing this kit starting from the top. You have your uh, fixation drill for the facial aspect if we lock into our guide. You have your two millimeter twist, three, five, four, three, and then we have countersinks. So everything in this top row would be used at a high speed, at 800 RPMs. The second row has our bone taps. If need be, if the bone is dense, we would slow down the speed on our motor to the same speed as the implant, and we would use this bone tap to create a little bit more threading, if you will, in the osteotomy. Okay, and then along the bottom here, we have our implant drivers, two different um, slight diameters on the sides to fit the sleeve. And then we've got an adapter to fit the top, allow, this to, allow us to manually place this with a torque wrench, and lastly, our screwdriver. So I'm just quickly gonna walk through the steps. We would start with our spoons. I'm taking out the spoon for the regular sleeve in a 2.0, and I make sure that sleeve is all the way down. And then I would have my two millimeter twist on a hand piece. I'm at 800 RPMs and I want to go down through here until I see the top of the silver bar. We're placing a 4.3 by 13 length drive implant. Doesn't matter if it's CM or GM. I have to have the correct implant driver to place that implant, but they have the same drilling sequence. So once I'm done my two millimeter twist, I simply twist or um, switch the spoon over to the purple or magenta side. I'm gonna place my 3.5 drill, still at 800 RPMs. I'm looking at the side of this drill for the top of the silver bar that's 13 in length. So I'm gonna go down through, get to 13, and now that one's done. And I'm going to go one more since I'm doing a 4.3 by 13 length implant in the drive. And now I remove my 3.5. My guide's back on. And I have a 4.3 spoon for the 4.3 drill. So now I'm going to place that in and make sure it's flush on the side here. And I'm going to take this down to 13 as well. Okay, and lastly, because of the quality of this bone, I'm now gonna switch over and use my adapter, attach my bone tap. This is important, this is in the next row down, so it's imperative that I switch over to the next speed, if you will, of an implant placement, about 25 or 30 RPMs. I'm stepping on the pedal, it happens to be in reverse, I hear the beeping. I'm gonna put this in forward, and I'm just gently resting this into the osteotomy. My hands are loose, and I'm letting it just thread itself down into the osteotomy, all right, with our bone tap. I'm just letting it follow the osteotomy itself. Now I simply put this in reverse, I let this tap back itself up. I'm not doing anything, I'm not pulling up on it. And I should be ready to place the implant. Here it comes. Okay, I'm backed all the way up. So what I wanna do now, I'm ready for my osteotomy and accepting my implant. And I wanna do this fully guided, so I'm gonna go into my implant packaging. I give this a turn, just till I can pull this up and out of the sleeve, I have my implant. Very important with this implant, the connection, GM or CM. I wanna take my implant driver and I wanna take the adapter with the square head that accepts a torque wrench. And what I wanna do is attach the two. I wanna slide this down the back of our implant driver and manually, sounds weird, but I wanna manually make sure that I seat this driver fully down into the implant, okay? And I wanna start it by hand. I want to keep the driver connected to this implant the entire way down. So I'm turning by hand. This would be in the patient's mouth if this was an upper. Just 
just till I'm tight. Okay, and I can't turn this anymore. I can leave everything exactly where it is and simply place my wrench with neodent facing up. The arrow should be facing towards me. When I pulled that out, I saw that this adapter piece fell out. I wanna make sure the square head portion is up from underneath and I pull this out. It's spring loaded. I've got this thing engaged. My wrench is ready to go. I drop my wrench on top. And now I have a ledge on the side of my driver. It's a vertical stop that tells me where I should stop driving the implant down into the osteotomy. So I come across, I notice on the side of my wrench, just holding the teardrop, I can see I'm already at, I already have primary stability, All right? I'm at 35 Newton centimeters. And as I get a little further down, I get a little closer, it's out more. Now I'm at up. What do you see here, 45, I'm getting close. Again, I wanna look, I can even finish it off by hand. I'm so close and I wanna line one of the dots up to the facial and that's it. So I have a dot to the facial. My ledge is right up against the sleeve of the guide. I can now remove everything that's here, take my guide off and I have this beautiful implant that's countersunk about two millimeters down in the bone in the end here. Thanks so much, thanks for watching.